Hello, everyone. I'm Carolina Ledeen. I, like many others, was destined for DocFest Munich this week, in particular the Master's Pitch, which is a collaboration between DocFest Munich and Documentary Campus. But hey, things changed. Little did we know that this year's theme would in fact be Corona. So instead, we have asked the producers and the decision makers to give us their particular take on this unprecedented situation. Today, we have um, Birgit Schutz from Bildersturm Filmproduktion in Cologne. You have the project Anne Sexton, Tell Me Your Answer True, about the well-known American poet. So thank you, Birgit, for, for coming and sharing your experience of these crazy times. What was your Corona reality check? When did it hit you and what was it? So it, uh, it hit me directly because um, I had to understand really day by day what is impossible from now on. And that means uh, I, have, I had to skip every plans for travel, every plans for meetings. But it was really, really uh, slow to understand what's going on because I really, I really didn't realize it in the whole and I guess I, I am still fighting with that. But on the other hand, there was invented at once a, a new closeness to other people, to friends, to colleagues, and some else, something else is growing. Starting maybe on the more um, serious note, um, what is your biggest concern for the post-corona documentary community? Yeah, the biggest concern is that we will have to live with more restrictions. If I think as, uh, at my role as a director or pro producer, uh, the, the biggest source we have is our boundless uh, thinking in, in a very free way. So we are thinking and acting um, over the boundaries uh, all the time. And this is, this is our biggest, biggest source. We all the time got small money for that. We are used to it. But if we are restricted in those things, and this is really a big concern, uh, then I don't know what will happen. And I hope that we will manage this. Um, yeah. And the media at the moment, uh, they are completely occupied by the crisis. We all, the, the whole day we got information about the crisis and it makes uh, a kind of narrow thinking. And I hope we will survive that and will widen the angle and, uh, and uh, get the, the sureness back which is what is really uh, um, relevant. Yeah, you actually almost answered my last question here, which is what is your <laughs> biggest hope for the post-corona documentary community? Yeah, we, I, I really hope that we don't lose the courage and that we also will be able to take a critical position against the state, which maybe will invent uh, uh, a complete control. We don't know it yet. So, and we, we are the ones we have to take the position against uh, these things. So we, we are the ones who have to fight for the freedom. And I'm convinced about that very much. I'm, I'm discussing that uh, with my friends and colleagues all the time. So if we don't do it, who should do it? Yeah, and the role of the documentary filmmaker has probably never been as relevant as and important yeah. as it will be in the time to come. Yeah. Thank you, Birgit, for your, for your insight and sharing your experience right now. Thank you very much.